just did some cleaning and some plant care and I did some reading. Um, I took my dog out. It's been a great morning so far, very productive, and it's still very early. So that's the best way to start a Saturday in my opinion. Um, get all the annoying stuff out of the way first and it kind of sets you up for um, just enjoying the rest of the day. I still have one kind of annoying thing that's also kind of my favorite thing, um, the gym. <laughs> so I have to go do that right now. I'm gonna go to, the, I'm gonna get ready, go to the gym and um, do my workouts for 75 hard there i'm excited and then um after that i will um shower and get ready for the day and then i have a couple of things i want to do i was looking on facebook events for free activities because as i mentioned in my previous video we are on a budget and um yeah, I, I was very lucky i found there's a curator led walkthrough of a gallery at the university of buffalo today so it's free it's at three o'clock so my goal is to maybe go to a coffee shop and hang out some there before going to the gallery and then go to that enjoy it and then after that there's a movie on emily well it's called emily and it's about emily bronte's life i don't think it's very accurate but so i will take you along for some of that um I know I said in my previous video that I want to talk some more about 75 hard and I really do but I'm gonna wait till I finish it um, before I do a full video on it um, I think I just want to mention though that the reading I was doing was for 75 hard and I'm reading Anna Karenina it's a fiction book I'm technically supposed to be reading nonfiction but this is a classic and it's historic so I figured it works. I'm stretching the wool a little again. <laughs> and then um, this is the first book I read for it. So um, I'll talk more about it when I do that video. But I'll see you later today and I'll put some clips in and maybe um, some talking clips um, as I go through this day, this Saturday. And I'm very excited. I'll see you later. Bye. I am in my car. I just finished the art gallery walkthrough with the curator. Um, it was absolutely amazing, actually. I really was not, sorry if this is so shaky, by the way. I really was not expecting to like it. And even the first 10 or 15 minutes, I was like, wow, if you give an art curator a chance to talk, they really can talk. She was just going on and on and on. And I was a little bored and I was just kind of feeling like, okay, this is just silly. Um, this art isn't really to my taste. I think I could have missed this. Like, I feel like it's kind of like the Emperor's New Clothes type thing. Like people have to just be pretending like this is obviously stupid, <laughs> which I take it all back. It was really, really cool. Um, it's, I feel like I have a much better idea about what a curator does. And I think it was just kind of fascinating how much thought she put into the position of all the artwork <clears throat> in the museum and how it, it, the experience she wanted to create for the viewers. And I definitely would not have picked up on any of it probably if I hadn't have had her there to guide us. Um, she was really fascinating. Um, she didn't really talk about herself at all, so I don't know her at all, but she did talk a lot about the artist that, um, wh whose work was on display. It was very cool. Never really, I mean, I have been to stuff like that, but I definitely don't go to it enough. And it's very cool to see stuff like that happening in Buffalo. Um, I 
just great experience. I'm proud of myself for going. Um, wasn't weird at all to be there alone. <laughs> and I had to leave like two minutes early or something because I have my movie coming. So anyway, I am so glad I went though. Yep, just wanted to update. from the car um i just got out of the movie it's all dark i just wanted to check in and kind of make this the outro to the video um i'm shocked with this day i feel like this day was a 10 out of 10 i hope you all go and well all whoever's watching this um anyone watching this i know my sister um <laughs> my sisters will be watching it take yourself on a date go out and do stuff like this it's amazing you don't have to worry about what everyone's thinking about the experience if people are having fun you can just enjoy it and be in your own head with your own thoughts and i have felt so much happiness today and i really think setting out to do this vlog um helped me you know be encouraged to do more things um i want to say a few things about the movie i just saw emily about emily bronte i didn't really know anything about it besides on the theater website it said um it was an imagining i don't remember the wording but it said it was basically reimagining emily bronte's life through the eyes of well while applying elements of the story that she wrote Wuthering Heights um to her life I don't know if that makes sense I think they put it a lot um in a more clear way but <clears throat> um I am totally I just I loved that movie I can't say it enough I um you know I have always had a fascination with the Bronte sisters like a little while ago I randomly went on a huge rabbit hole and was reading all about the Brontes and their brother and the deaths and I just had no um idea before going down that Wikipedia rabbit hole I mean I'm sure in college I was an English major in college and I'm sure I learned about them but I totally forgot about it and I have read um Jane Eyre and um Wuthering Heights but I don't think I read anything by Anne Bronte um again sorry if this is so wiggly I'm trying to hold um but yeah I think the movie just totally captured in the actresses they chose and the way that um the actresses portrayed each sister I think they totally um captured the um spirit that each of those sisters had in their books like um Emily's connection with the supernatural and nature I feel like that really came through in Wuthering Heights and it was like that feeling embodied in the actress and I don't know the name of the actress but I do know her she's from that show sex education and I loved her in that um she plays Maeve <coughs> sorry Whew. I'm out of breath um yeah and then Emily I mean sorry Charlotte Bronte 
the girl who plays her, I just felt like she perfectly captured the desire to be morally superior, but still insecure, just like in Jane Eyre. Um, the whole story was just so well done and it brought back memories of Wuthering Heights that I didn't even know I remembered. Um, just elements from the story, like the peeking in the window and I don't know, it just so many things that just made me think I have got to reread Wuthering Heights and I've got to learn more about the Brontes. I've always regarded them as geniuses and, um, you know, kind of like awe-inspiring in the way they write. Um, yeah, I am so glad I saw that. I highly recommend it. And I guess that's all I have to say. That was really long. But thank you for coming along with me please subscribe. I'm going to try to do more videos um, and more vlog, well, more specifically vlogs probably just because I think this is fun. Um, thank you for watching. Bye!